morning. Let's talk about some international concerns about how robust UK defence is. Uh, we start with comments from a French MP telling The Telegraph uh, that our reserves have been significantly depleted by supporting Ukraine, and that's a concern. Also reports in the German media, backed up by the MOD sources in the UK, saying that NATO has asked Berlin to remain in charge of uh, the leadership of the Rapid Reaction Force because we're not capable of taking control. How are we supposed to react to those criticisms? Well, I think I think like the first one, the story in German is just bollocks, right? I mean, to be honest, uh, the simple reality is uh, NATO leadership did not approach anybody. We are taking over the VGTF as scheduled. Uh, and it's interesting that, that story is based on a source on a German website you and I have never heard of. So look, there's, there's a lot of stories out there that I just don't think are particularly true. Uh, yes, it, 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 the only thing that is, is, is key here is to make sure that our forces are at readiness uh, and our forces are modernised. And on that subject, I've been very clear that, you know, defence for the last 30 years was hollowed out um, and we needed to address that. That's why we got £16 billion extra and a £24 billion increase in 2020. And we're going to spend £34 billion modernising our army between now and 2032. Uh, that is absolutely true. But we're not uh, any less ready than others. Uh, we just have to make sure we start getting back to investing in defence properly. And what does that mean?